aging society, robot technology can help to such aged people. This is very important for them. They want to do by themselves. Right. Great, right? We can help such kind of people to stand up by themselves. EROS is an IEEE event and in furthering the IEEE mission to benefit humanity through technological innovation, EROS is doing a great job, but don't take it from me. I'm now delighted to be joined by the IEEE President-elect, Professor Toshio Fukuda, to find out a bit more about the impact events like EROS can have. Well, first of all, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. No problem. It's my pleasure to come here. So tell us a little bit about how important uh, this conference is. Yeah. This Hyros conference is very important for those co community of intelligent robotics research scientists, engineers. I started this conference in 1988 in Tokyo. That time, the conference was small, 330 people, but now it's big, 10 times more. <laughs> That's kind of after 32 years later. So this is, this is kind of only one conference focus on intelligent robots and systems. That's a kind of automation too. That's a very important conference in reality, in such a kind of application to the so kind of a real society. Right. Yeah. And how does it fit into the wider uh, remit of the IEEE? Yeah, because IEEE is a big organization with 30, uh, 46 societies and councils. Robot Automation Society is one of them. Also, in, uh, in industrial society is also uh, one of the society. Two societies get together. So that's like an industrial society, more like such a kind of practical way, application way, and robot automation society, of course, theory and also application. That uh, drives a kind of a community, more such a kind of uh, intelligent system. That's great. 30 years, 10 times, more than 10 times growth. That's great, don't you think, sir? <laughs> I think I'm, I Yeah, I'm happy <laughs> because I'm a founder of this conference. So that's nice to see that. I think it's fantastic. Yes. So when you were running for a, a election for your own uh, position with the IEEE, you, you were very much talking about the societal impacts of uh, technology. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Today, IEEE, no, also, uh, also world, is trying to foster such an advanced technology and innovation on behalf of humanity. Right. Okay? For, for example, aging society, robot technology can help to such aged people. This is very important for them because mobility is most important for those people. They want to do it by themselves. Right. Great, right. eh? We can help such a kind of people to stand up by themselves. Now, one of the other questions I have for you is that if you turn, open any newspaper today, switch on any television set, yes. you hear or read about AI. Yes. Um, and, and, and some people are worried uh, uh, about AI. So, so why will AI be a force for good? Yeah, the robot and AI much too good, okay? We need some kind of a, uh, intelligent system to the brain of robot. That's a computer, okay? That's important. But some people are very afraid of AI right. because we don't know the, why it is here. They don't explain you why the solution, this is a, your solution, hey. They didn't tell you. That we need, why this is the best solution for you. This way, A, because B, because C, that's why this is D for you. If you can explain in such a way, people can understand. I2P, we are very, very uh, concerned about such an ethics problem. I2P publishes already such a publication. This is the number one in the world to uh, focusing such an ethical design problem in terms of such a kind of people can use it. Right. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us today. Uh, we're excited about the conference just as you are, yeah. and, and I'm sure it's going to be a great conference, so thank yeah. you. Stephen, thank, thank you very much. much. Yes, thank you.